Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I have uh, a project share. Uh, as you guys know, I created an SVG file, or if you have been watching me, you'll know. And I wanted to make some embellishments to go in it. And, um, and I am going to have a video on how to put that um, craft tote together. Uh, but I was just a little busy. This is the tote I'm talking about. And there is going to be a... Uh, I'm going to record a video on how to put it together. Uh, it's real easy to put together, guys. You're going to be so amazed uh, how easy it is to put together. I was creating embellishments to go in there. And I wanted a small snow globe. So I picked this little snow globe up on Amazon. And I know I could probably have gotten it from Allie and waited a month or two to get it. But I'm one of those people that when I want to create or there's I have something in my mind, I'm okay with paying more money so I can have it now. I don't want to wait a month. So I picked this up. And what I, the first thing I did with it was I cut out a, um, I cut it out in black. Let me pick this up. I cut it out in black and it does cut the inside out. And the reason I cut it out in black, uh, then I, I glued it to a piece of just regular white computer paper and I scanned it into my brother's scan and cut and I created a file so I could cut them, cut more or multiples because I wanted to make, turn them into shakers. And I didn't want to put that wear and tear on the die. Two, I wanted a backing that was solid that didn't have the opening cut out. So those are the two reasons that I went ahead and scanned it. And it scanned beautifully the first time around. And uh, I'm going to show you. Here is uh, the paper that I used to cut it out. And as you can see, it cut beautifully around it. So I was going to show you, but I only cut four and I used them. Actually, no, I have it right here. Um... And I put some together that I'm going to share with you. But it cut out the silhouette for me without the opening, which is what I wanted. And then I used my die to cut out the image that I wanted. Now, the what I used to cut out the image was the little um, 3x4 journaling note cards from the new paper by Prima. It's called uh, Christmas Sparkle, and I will link this in the description box, and I will link the die as well. Um, if you have a Brother Scan and Cut, and you want the the if you want the silhouette, all you have to do is uh, do, just scan it. Like I said, glue it to a regular computer paper, scan it into your computer, and save it. Um, or send it to your, you can actually send it from your brother's scan and cut into your computer. And then you can do more, there you can, uh, you know, duplicate it or whatever you want to do to it. So, um, anyway, I use these little uh, journaling cards for the images because they were small enough, small enough to go into the snow globe. And the snow globe is little. Like these, this little snow globe would look beautiful on a 3x3 three three note card. It's it's uh, smaller than a three by three, so I'll tell you exactly how big it is. It measures about two and a half by approximately maybe two and three fourth, so a little under, but more or less. And uh, so what I did was after I had scanned it into my computer, I just chose that I wanted the outside outline. I didn't want the inside cut out, and this is what I got. Okay, so in order to do these these then I use my die to fussy cut or place it exactly where I wanted to cut out the image that I wanted so I wanted this little uh, deer and I already have mine um, cut out so I'll put one together with you guys so you can see how I did it now in order to get the correct place placement of the of the image I use one of the die cuts so I went ahead and cut it out several times in the white cardstock so I could turn them into shakers and you know what let me share these with you I know you can see them but and I'm sorry about the glare but see how beautiful they came out and I I added um, 
one of the flowers from the paper so I'll link those as well and then I just added little bits and pieces like my friend Jackie she gifted me this recently the little um, snowy branch and then I bought these last year from Joann's I believe so I added them into my shakers as a decoration on the outside and I also added some of the uh, the glitter snow this one from Aline so I'll link that as well I picked that up on Amazon to the flowers to kind of make them look shabby-ish or you know like snow and then the uh, sentiments like this one says ho 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 this one says peace love and joy and the reason that one says peace love and joy because there is an actual angel on a lot of the paper the designer paper this time around so that's why I wanted that font and I'll share with you where I got that stamp from it's this one by Fiskars. I'm not even sure if it's available anymore. There is the uh, SKU. If I can find it, I will link it. But I've had this a couple of years, two or three years now. So I'm not sure if it's available anymore. So let's put one of these together. And I'm not going to do the outside embellishments, but I'll do the whole thing, putting it together to, show with, to share with you how I put it together. Now... I already had my layers cut out. I used the die to cut this layer out. I used my brother's scan and cut to cut these layers out. And there's about five or six here. And I left one without, uh, I'm, I haven't glued it here. So I'm going to set aside my glitter one, which is my topper, and another of the white ones. And there's a reason for that. So the way that I do this to find out where exactly I need to... Uh, place my my image is by just lining these up and then I'll go ahead and take my paper or the image and set it in there make sure it's lined up perfectly you know because it's got a straight bottom it's a little tricky so once I have it lined up perfectly I'm going to remove the white one I'll remove that one, but I'm not letting go of the base and the front. And all I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add glue to the back of it without letting go so it won't move. And I'll add glue to half of it. Glue it down. And then I'll just kind of pull this back and do the same thing on the other half. So there is how I... Um, I find the placement for that now now that I've got that ready now I can go ahead and start gluing these on top of on top of the um, my base piece and it should line up perfectly and there we go I just keep going until I get them all glued down so that's what I'm gonna go that's what I'm doing right now and I am adding like I said five or six layers if you're gonna add more if you like it to be like full of uh, uh, shaker bits then I would recommend that you cut more now I cut these out of a hundred and twenty pound cardstock that I picked up on Amazon if I can find it I will link it it's really 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 thick and I like it so I'm going to keep going until I have all of these done. I know it's kind of boring, but sometimes some of us are visual learners. I know sometimes I am. So this is more for a new paper crafter than a seasoned one. Or should I say experience one. So I keep going and it's, you know, I'm starting to get a little depth in here, which is what I want. And for this, I want to use, I use wet glue for this um, layering up these pieces. And it's real easy. Like I just line up the bottom and then everything just kind of falls into place. It's not even a long process or anything like that. So let's add this one. And you can do glitter paper or you can do the designer paper as your top layer. So 
So whatever you took off of here, whatever you had left over, you can actually use that to layer up um, for it to be the top layer of your snow globe. But I did glitter cardstock. So there it is. It's not real deep. So if you, like I said, if you like to put a lot of shaker bits in there, I recommend that you add um, more. That way your sh shaker bits move around easily. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my shaker bits. And these, I made these little candy canes last year. That one feels kind of thick. I think I want a skinny one. Look. So there's a the skinny one. There's a the mint. And I'm just going to pick out of just a few of these little sequin bit bits like I don't want too much in there because there's not a lot of height the border is not very tall so I can't put much in there but I'll do this let's see a little bit more so that's enough because it's a small it is a small and then I'll add some of this faux snow. Now, this is just like that faux snow you can pick up at Joanne's at Michael's Hobby Lobby anywhere. And if it, yours doesn't sparkle, just take some uh, iridescent glitter and pour it in there and shake it up. And then you will have um, sparkly snow. So I added a little bit of snow, not too much. There's that. I have my glass down because I tend to get glue and stuff on on my table. So I try to protect it with this. Okay, so there is my uh, sequence. Now, for the top part, I actually have a piece of acetate here. And I'm going to wipe it off with my t-shirt because I tend to get my fingers all over it. So I'm going to add some glossy accents to the white piece. And I already made three of them, so I know how far down I need to go. And for this, I do add the glossy accents for the acetate. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And I didn't have a circle that was the right size. So I'm going to have to trim this down a little bit. That's not too bad. I'm going to leave it. I need it to be just a little bit smaller because it sticks out a little bit, but it's not too bad. So I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to go ahead and add more glossy accents to the whole thing now. Not just to where the acetate is going to reach, but down here. Because now we're going to glue the designer piece on top, the glitter piece. So make sure you have plenty of glue or um, glossy accents on your acetate piece because you want it to, you don't want it to come apart. So now I'm going to take my glitter piece. So in between the, the one of the white pieces and the glitter one that's where my acetate is because I feel like paper glues better to paper looks like I need to move it up a little bit so when I add this uh, piece with the acetate on it I want to make sure that it's not going to come undone and the, that's why I always put a layer of paper and then the acetate in the center and then another piece whatever die cut it I happen to be using because I like to glue or I'm more comfortable gluing uh, let's see when I add glue to here it's just paper it's not the acetate so I like doing it this way but you can do it however you like this is just how I do it and I don't really wait or nothing you know it, it it'll stay put So I'm going to go ahead and line this up, make sure it's straight. 
and there is my shaker. That is how simple and fast and easy it is. But if you want it to be thicker because you like a lot or you want your sequins to move, uh, f you know, freely in there and not get stuck, then, of course, you're going to want um, to add more layers than I did. But see, if I had more layers, this uh, candy cane would move more freely. But I'm okay with it being there. And see, so you can see the little uh, dough right there. So anyway, guys, this is what uh, the embellishment that I created. I also created, but I wanted to share with you how I did my shakers. And here is my little uh, sentiment right here. It says, peace, love, and joy also came from the same stamp set. And the reason I'm going to do this, because it looks like the deer is so peaceful there. So that's the sentiment that I'm going to add right here to my shaker. So that's one. And another thing that I made, created uh, for this, is a um, the Santas right here. Let me take them out because I know they have a lot of glare. These Santas are from Tattered Lace. And I did them last year for my friend Meg. Hey, Meg! Uh, in red, in the traditional colors that they were designed in, or the original colors. And it was the red. But I had one of the ladies on Facebook change the colors in them to different colors. And one of them was this very pale pink. And I love the way it looks. And because this has, this paper line has like a realistic Santa, I thought this was perfect. So here's one of the ones that I made. Uh, the paper does have silver in it. So I added a silver silhouette and then the Santa and I stickled it all up. And I did add glossy accents to the boots. And then on this one, I actually cut out the hat in in the glitter pink and the and the bluish green, and uh, I kind of snipped it apart because it does have places where you can snip, so I could change the colors on it. So those are the ones that I and again this one has the silver layer, and then here's another one of the original. So these are the embellishments that I made so far to go in my. Um, in my little uh, tote bag. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like what I created. I hope this inspires you and gives you ideas. And again, if you do have, uh, I'm going to link that die. And if you have a uh, brother scanning cut or a cameo or whatever you're familiar with, you can always scan those die cuts. I tend to do cut mine originally in black that way. And then uh, I glue it onto a piece of com computer paper because of the contrast between the black and the white, I feel that it picks it up really well. So that's what I do. But um, but yeah, that's what I have been working on. I hope that this helps you and it inspires you. Bye.